Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video we're going to show you how you can resize any window you want to any specific resolution that you want to. So, for example, what I'm talking about is, let's say I have a finder window open right here, and I want to have it resized to this resolution after I resize it. So, for example, if I change it to look like this, I want to be able to hit a button that automatically resizes it to whatever resolution that I wanted to before. So, I know there are programs to do this on Windows. There's a program called Sizer that's specific for Windows only that allows you to basically click a little button in your status bar that resizes the window to a specific resolution. And after doing a ton of searching on the internet, I couldn't find a specific program to do this for Mac OS X. I could find programs that could do this and a lot more, but they happen to cost a lot of money. And I wanted a free alternative to this because literally all I want to do is press a button and have the window resized. And I did find a way to do it using Apple scripts. So so I ended up finding this website right here that shows you a script that you can use in the Apple script program that allows you to resize any window of your choosing to any specific resolution. I'll have this linked in the video's description as well as I will have the actual script itself linked in the description. So let me just grab a couple of things over here. So as you can see, I have the source file right here, by the way, but this is the script that we are going to be using. So I'll have this in the video's description. You can just copy this and paste it into your Apple scripts, and then that will allow you to resize your window. So here we are, we're gonna load up the Apple script editor. And if you don't know how to get to that, simply go to your applications folder, go down to utilities, and then go to the Apple script editor. And that will open up a window that looks like this. So what we wanna do is we wanna go and copy this source that will be in the description. This is the script that we're gonna do. We're just gonna copy that, and we're gonna paste it here into the Apple script editor. And basically what it does is it has a set command that sets the app, and this is where you type in your application name. So as you can see here in the parentheses, this is going to resize Google Chrome, and it's going to reset the application to the height of 1080 and the width of 1920. Now, my monitor is 1920 by 1080, and I don't want it to resize to that. So I wanna resize my Google Chrome window to be around this size, because I'm one of those people that has to have their window specifically sized to the right size, or else I just freak out. And with this little trick, then I'll never have that problem again. So I have a little picture of my Chrome window open here, and if I get info, the resolution on the Chrome window is 1232 by 998. So all we need to do is tell this script right here to resize Google Chrome to 1232 by 998. So I'm gonna set the height right here to 998, and I'm gonna set the width to 1232. And then, let's say I open up Google Chrome, and I just resize it terribly. So. This is what my Google Chrome window looks like right now. All I need to do is make sure this script is running, and click the run button, and then it automatically resizes my Chrome window back to the way it was to that specific resolution. And as you can see over here, there are multiple different options that you can use to save it by. So you can save the script over here, just save it as a script document. So let's just say I close out of this, and if I open up the saved script, it'll open up that exact same script. And also, you can also export these scripts as an application. So let's say I open up Google Chrome and I just resize it again horribly. If you save the script as an application, you can just click on the application and that will run the script just as if it were a normal application. And if you guys were curious about the saving of these, all you need to do is go up to file and save as, and you can choose to save it as a script, a bundle, an application, or text. So in this case, I chose to save it as both a script and an application. And essentially that's it. That's how you can use Apple scripts in order to resize any window to any specific resolution. Just to demonstrate another example here, I have a script for my iTunes library right here that will resize the window to 1160 by 916. So I want my iTunes to look like this every time that I open it up. So let's say I accidentally screw up my iTunes window. It comes out to that. All I can do is run the application for my iTunes script and it resizes it back to the way that I like it. So it's not exactly a great solution compared to applications on Windows like Sizer that allow it to have it built into the application, but it's absolutely free and it works. And again, if you guys are wondering about where I actually found this out, you can go to this link, which I'll leave in the description, which is a post by a guy named Amit 
Argaval, and I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but that is the original source of where I got this script. So anyway, that's pretty much it. A quick little tutorial on how to use Apple scripts to resize any window to any size that you want to. Thanks a lot for watching everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>